I did turn on item organization. Was that silly? Where were you? Half an hour ago. It's messier. Ah. Disco get some stuff in March. Disco's very um. That's a pretty heady game, man. Lots to take in and think about, but a really, but like really rewarding. If you're into what CRPGs are all about, gameplay, meaningful choices. Not gameplay, more like meaningful choices, strategy, making you think. It's it's just super high up there in terms of um, also a unique approach where a lot of these games can seem kind of like they they have great stories and great strategy and stuff, but they can end up being very similar and samey, right? Because they're sort of banking off of the uh, they're going off of an old genre, right? A very specific genre. So yeah, yeah, that's what I'd heard that uh, disco is. Is is the Disco Elysium of its time. So this must be a Switch thing where it had to load that in. I can't see. I feel like I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 1 with how much I can see. I'm a proud loyal to the Order. Stay back, Sorcerer. And stay silent. Dennis. Our God Woken speaks. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. Ah, the religious. RPGs hating on the religion. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister, whatever she may ask. Hmm. If they wanted to keep a lot of the Magisters in check at once, the spectacle is the way to do it. Why they bother? A tongue can't be harder to grow back than a tail. <laughs> Stay silent, elf! Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge. Stop! I think Bishop and this lizard have something going on. My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, your holiness? I believe we're done here. What a waste. Come, we'll be needed elsewhere. Quiet, love, hush, listen. I don't know exactly, didn't I? Dead. Oh my god, look at all this valuable stuff they left behind. Matusa's leg. Hey, nice, we can eat it. Throbs across your brain. Verdas, Verdas, Verdas. He must escape. He cannot die here. He cannot. I like how powerful they make the Magisters seem. So you're starting to see the idea of the Magisters as like. Um. Were we getting vitality from just standing around or from standing in this blood? Or is this cat healing us? Or is it just an overtime thing? Interesting. 
Yes, we see their power, their guards. I like the, the look of the guards. They sort of look like that guy in Final Fantasy IX. Got my eye on you, Moss Muncher. Don't try any of that sauce business on my watch, or I'll do to you what the hammer did to that traitor. The Magister squints hard and grimaces. Move along, Nutter. Oh, I'll make you nut. Bishop's the son of the dead divine. Don't know when we'll get a new one, but Alexander's looking after us in the meantime, all the same. And the hammer's a solid sort. Don't take no guff and don't stand for no idling. Earned that name for a reason, she did. <laughs> Quick save. Planescape takes place all in one city? Yeah. On then, did you see them, miss? Bishop Alexander and the hammer herself? They... They were so close, almost within arm's reach. It's time to accept reality. A traitor cannot be murdered. A traitor can only receive their due. The divine order is all that stands between everything you see and avoid Woken's throat. Any traitor to them is a traitor to us all. Believe it or don't. The divine order doesn't need our loyalty. They'll save us in spite of ourselves. Oh, this guy is quite, uh, quite indoctrinated. That's cool. Every character's got their, their armor, their two types of armor, their health. What's with the music note? What does that mean? Try to pickpocket him. Ivan. Buro. Kana and Elodie. Why is he hanging out with these people? Come on then, Lexi. Dear one, help me teach this beast. He must respect. Respect? Huh. <laughs> Someone's got to keep this place running. Griff can't do it for free. Why'd you gotta make this so hard? Well, let you. Yeah, buddy. How you doing? An intense looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well muscled and heavily scarred arms. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. Oh, what a badass! <laughs> oh man, oh, I'm a lone wolf. <laughs> the thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you. Ah, oh, anything better than curling up near the fire with a switch, as long as it doesn't melt. Why does the elf owe money? Who's Griff? Yeah, this is a shakedown. You Buddy two ought to be thanking your lucky gods it's us, and not the Magisters enforcing round here. A fool never knows what they've got till it's well and gone. Ah, well, you can always be uh, productive and watch a stream at the same time, can't you? Now come on, Elf. If you make me say it again, there's gonna be trouble. And neither will I. Let's kill him. We got a system. And it looks like you don't wanna fit in. I like this squirrel riding this undead cat. <laughs> or dog, probably a dog. So is he with her? There we go, nice. Oh, you're gonna die, aren't you? <laughs> Alright. So I guess every every turn I'm using flesh act is sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, I think we did. <laughs> we end up just fighting everybody. It ended up real good, you know? Alright. What's the deal with these guys? Buro. Who's he's attacking next? He's got eight oh, eight armor, five armor, and some health. Oh well, then maybe we'll just whack him. Why don't we go stand be behind him? Uh, la, 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 la. And a bit of a backstab here. Put him in max, baby. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, God. Not now. Okay. Now he's got no physical, so we could use... 
Battering Ram does knock down. Battle Stomp does knock down. Bouncing Shield. Okay, let's do uh, all enemies in the path. Yes. Eat it. I wish, you know, the camera is the only thing in this game I would want to change. I, I'm often felt feeling like, I wish I could zoom out more, or I could like, I know it's isometric and that probably helps them plan everything, but I mean, you can move the camera around so you can see them from different angles and stuff, right? I just wish there was a bit more of a, yeah, a bit more of a way to just, just look. Anyways. He's the red. Oh yeah, we have the red prince. He's a fighter. Fine. Okay, who's up next? This guy's up next. Kana. Kana, we're gonna kill ya. Hello. You gonna play all day, buddy? What else can we do? Not enough AP. Oh, it is nice to be an elf though and get that extra AP point. So we can turn on something that gives you eight base AP. There's a top-down detail view on OS one. Oh really? Yeah, that might be kind of nice. Oh god, I'm glad they're attacking her, not me. Ooh, attack for opportunity. It's the best. Boy, the switch version is quite blurry. Adelia. You gonna die, Connor? Let's give her the old battering ram. Knock them both down. Hello. Who's helloing? Ganna. Like, it'd be nice if I could move the camera off of Ifon while it's on his turn. They force you to, uh... They really force you to stick on his, his uh, perspective. You can play it. Oh, on the OS. Like Mac OS? Or PC. That's what the real computer people call PC, eh? OS. Battle stomp. I'm ready. Press B for a 100% overview. Uh. Hello. B. Day, buddy? On the switch, as well as highlighted characters. All right. Budo. Oh, he's knocked down. Anyway, let's just attack this chick. God, no. Oh, they're both in the ground. Huh. Chopper! <laughs> Maybe during the game, B does that? You gonna pray all day, buddy? Man, the switch, like the resolution of this is just is pretty awful on the switch. I might also get this on PC, because you can cloud save it. And then I could just play Switch in bed and PC when I'm streaming. Although the bitrate's crap anyway, so. Chop on the bitch. <laughs> Woohoo! Follow me before more of them trouble us. I've an errand to run around here first. I'll catch up with you there later. Remember, past the kitchens, down to the beach. Oh, OS one, original sin one. There is a safe place. Yeah, yeah, I know the bit. The bit rate's pretty terrible, but it's just all I can all I can handle at this point. Sadly, audio is loud and clear. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I feel like I probably set my audio higher than most streams. Oh, look at that good stuff! A club. Gold. All right, where did that girl go? Laos! Join the party. Hey, I know you. Losa, the dark-eyed jokes to you. Losa. Waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Seems like um, an Irish name. Irish or Welsh? Would you know? Or are you just a imperial 
English swine who wouldn't Back dare then, know of the I lesser was, UK people. Uh, Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube. And you were... You. <laughs> Glad to see you made it. A spot of cleaning. Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? Me too. <laughs> Did you hear something? When you were in the water, I mean. I heard the same thing. Do you know what this means? Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus and her whole body goes rigid. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Greyish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Her head snaps to you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The grey veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. Anyway... What were we talking about? Ah, oh, it's nothing really. It's just... I'm just a bit... well, a bit... hospitable. Mm. Ha! What I mean is... Look, you've never been a, a host, right? That's because you're like a clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. <laughs> what? You're a clump of leaves on the side of the road? But I'm a, oh. a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. Now isn't that just the question of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite either. So how are you enjoying the joy? Yeah? I was just Let's thinking the same thing. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength and numbers and all that. It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. Lately, I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. Inky, you there? So, what'll it be? Or, uh, one lich, if you have experience with this. Mm, an enchanter? An affinity for the arcane arts. So what will the arcane arts be? Hmm. Enchanting or arcane arts? I, I don't know the difference of that. <clears throat> I just want her to be able to, like, buff the party and use ranged magic. Okay, we'll go with an enchanter. Sounds fine. So we're good to go? Yeah? Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'll... Brazier. You're just deciding their starting stats? Oh, okay. And what, in some of their spells or something? Dominic! Bow your head, please! If we chant the endless prayer, the next divine will ascend, even if your kind has displeased the god so terribly of late. The divine is dead. Haven't you heard? Bishop Alexander, the divine's own son, is godwoken. He will ascend. He will protect us from this darkness. Stay woke. Do not doubt that he will come into his powers at any moment, and then he shall ascend. All right. If you take a touch property that isn't yours, it is bad. Okay, where did that girl go that we were going to follow? Ivan. The Bawara. Um, I don't know where that girl ran off to. Magister Boris. All right, we're stuck in here. I love that there's this sort of ghetto, and then they've got their own, um... they got their own rules. There's, like, a gang that's controlling people, hustling people. Hey, Mona. Mona, you look... You look bright. Did I run into Ifan at the beginning? No, I think this is the first time we've met him. During that little 
be the good guy fight. So this is for Joy's. A delivery. What a crumbling have disaster. One. Please. I want to see more of it. Scram, snake face. Snake face, eh? Grief. He's tough. He's tough. Is slowly, methodically peeling the skin from a potato. <laughs> As you approach, he looks up, setting the potato, but not <laughs> the sharp little knife. Down I love the writing. The, table. the potato, but not the knife. What? <clears throat> Who's asking? He smirks and holds the little knife up to the light. I'm listening. <clears throat> Thugs. <laughs> Look at it this way. People get lawless here, and we all starve. Hmm. I've got that special Interesting. See, it makes so much more sense for characters who are doing apparently evil things to have a reason. He's trying to keep the peace, I guess, so that they still get their food rations if food delivered or whatever. And probably being a bit corrupted by the power or the type of person that would be corrupted by it. Sure, have a look. Good oh. stuff, huh? Good stuff, eh? Mutton, of course. Give yourself a prostitute, <laughs> Oh, yeah, Griff. Invisibility potion. Wouldn't that help you escape? Couldn't anybody escape this place with an invisibility potion? So we know that he's pretty tough because the first thugs we dealt with only had eights and were dressed in rags as prisoners. So what are we going to do? Where's mm -hmm. the war rations, please? Hey. Shit. There was that girl that we were supposed to follow. Follow Elodie. Yeah. Track the quest. Okay, so I should be putting in uh, strength. I want to make this person the tank, right? So I should put in strength. Increases your damage to strength-based weapons and skills. Lift and carry heavy items. Currently, they do 15%. 1.5% finesse. Okay, so yeah, we'll put that. Strength. And how do we... 7% of vitality. So we should go up. No, but constitution sucks because it's all about armor. So we should just do tons and tons of strength. Yeah. I like how you can stay in any menu and switch to the different characters. It's nice. I don't think I'm going to end up taking Red Prince. Because I made, you know, I made him a fighter when I really should have made him like an archer or something. Us. You're talking to me, not him, Sam. Oh, for the love of Lucian, Balladeer. You're acting like a madman. Say it again. What you said about my wife. Go on. Piss off. Go on, Sam. Well, it's the truth, and you know it. She's better off. So what if it was messy? I'd rather puke myself to death a thousand times than let the Reds get to me. If she were my wife, I'd be happy for her. A flat smile twitches across Balladeer's lips. She never did like you. <laughs> oh! Whoa, just one punch that guy to death? That's strong. How strong? Not if we use magic. Red Prince is good at fire stuff because of racial bonds. with you soon, love. Yeah, I I did like his um his dialogue more than Ifan. Ifan saying "Lone wolves do what they want" was so cheesy. 
Is he gonna be that cheesy the whole game? Ha! I found you, didn't I? Red, they said. Red, then dead. Them that pay the bills, of course. I'll be a rich man when you're six feet under. Time's up, your highness. Let's dance. He has got bonuses for Ranger. <laughs> it, it's stabbing time. Yeah, and you gotta have a... Whoa. Oh. Oh, this guy's no joke. We're blind and burning. This isn't great. But we only have to fight one guy. He's got a lot of armor. Yeah, the voice acting is great. All across the board. Okay, what do we want to do? We want to take off his... Uh, only if your shield is shields up, eh? Guess we could heal. Cool. Be nice not to be on fire, too. Not enough. So oh, that's pretty nice. Drain the magic armor and give it to yourself. I guess I'll just go attack him. Maybe I can get him on fire if I go touch him. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, I think... I mean, Larian taking everything they've done with this... And then just, uh... <laughs> making it even better. That's gonna be pretty impressive. Like everything they've learned from these two games and then applying it to the Baldur's Gate... Franchise. Oh, he's an opportunist. Makes sense. If he's a dirty assassin, of course he'd be an opportunist, wouldn't he? Oh boy, this guy's this guy's pretty tough. Okay, Laos, what can you do? People are pissed because it looks like Divinity Three. Oh, uh, yeah, I could. See, I mean, I have no attachment to Baldur's Gate One or Two. But I could see if, like, say somebody's making a new Shadowrun game and they just made it look like, uh, I don't know, Skyrim or something. <laughs> as long as it was a good game and stayed true to the, like, the story and the themes. Alright, let's do some rain. Can she only cast it in this one little spot? Electric Discharge. We need to get rid of this guy's bloody, um... Target this too far. Is that her range for everything? Is is this far? Is that because she has didn't have line of sight or something? Maybe we just need to move over here and get a better view. That might be it. Target is too far. Oh, target's out of sight. Okay. The UI is gorgeous and refined in Baldur's Gate 3. Oh yeah, because it's out, right? I guess we can spread some rain. Cool this guy off. I feel. I remember when I first played this, I thought. Oh, he can be electrified to a target character. So this won't. This won't hurt ourselves, right? This won't hurt our teammates. Ugh, this Joy Con drifts up. Target is out of sight. Really? Is it, oh, is it because of the smoke? Oh, it's because I'm blinded! I'm so I'm so slow. He blinded us earlier in the game. Earlier in the round. Okay, fine. Well, I'll just, uh, I guess we'll, uh, encourage everybody. You can do that without seeing anything. Blind encouragement. <coughs> Bam! You got backstabbed. Just like I wanted.
Provides level physical armor. Yeah. No, let's do it to ourselves. Yeah, that's nice. Elemental effects can affect teammates. Watch the outline to see if a teammate gets it or not. Okay. Six damage. All right, Adelia. I just want to backstab this guy. There we go. I don't have to. Oh, oh, watch out. Two backstabs at once. Nice. That's good. He's a strong enemy. Yeah. Makes sense. He's coming up on... He's willing to approach three of us. And go for a battle. I wonder if he's tougher because we have more people in the party. If we were just the Red Prince alone with no one in the party. Are we still blinded? Uh, I don't know. What's the musical note mean? That seemed to hurt everybody. That was dumb. Exactly when you told me to watch the outline. Alright, I'm learning. <laughs> Get ready for some hail! Ah, chilled. He's full of void. Oh, he just went invisible. How do we... How do we uncover him from being invisible? Oh, that, these guys lost their turns. That was stupid. Anyways, I'm still learning the battle system at this point. Even though I've played this game before, but it's very difficult. So it's gonna charge this whole area. It's gotta be somewhere here. <laughs> Stun myself! I truly am magical. Ah! This guy's pretty strong. Uh. All right. Now ah, we're too blind. He's a smart enemy, too. Alright, just walk up and attack him. Oh, we should probably go with the magic right now. Oh, boy. This guy's crushing us. Oh. Alright, Red Prince, your turn. Why isn't this little thing helping us out? Okay, we need to take this guy out fast. He's still got a whole bunch of health, too. 75. Plus that magic armor. And decent physical armor. Destroy the physical armor and magic armor in your shield. That seems like a good plan. Fortify, okay, cool, cool. Hmm. So what would uh, an attack do for damage compared to this one? Six to seven, four to five. Should probably wait until I've got his shield down before. We can burn this guy. Good. Lots of fire everywhere. There. Now we can... Hit him with this thing, too. Path interrupted. What? Can I just burn him and not us? There we go. I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> Ooh! The fire spread. Ah. Oh. Oh, no. 
Everybody's burning that I like. So there... Why does he have a blue outline around him? Even if I bring this far away. Okay. I've got no other spells I can do. I can walk over here though. Okay, good thing I added the... Good thing I added that... Oh, crap! They're all dead! This has all gone terribly wrong. 710 air damage. 910 air damage and such status of shocked. Okay, shock him. Good. That means I get another turn. Oh, he's got a lot of health. 50 health! I think I can... This is the final boss of the game, and we've encountered him this fast. Oh no. I wonder how Firebrock is going to send me if I lose here. Uh oh. Oil flask and burning. <laughs> A nice rallying. Oh, this guy's going to beat me. I mean, I could uh, heal myself, I guess. I wonder how far back my my um, save is. Seventeen in game time, five twenty time and date, twelve twenty. It's half an hour ago. I guess we could have one of these. Yay! And we could still hit him with this. Eat it, Naren. Eight. That's that's not a lot. This guy's got it all. He can fortify himself. He can backstab. He's got go invisible, blinding me. How did this fight start? He came right up to the Red Prince and wanted to assassinate him. He said there was like a uh, some kind of price on his head. Killing characters and dealing this. So this is so this will actually hit hit us too if we do this one, right? Hmm. Guess I could resurrect somebody. All too far. Okay. But I think I'm gonna hurt myself if I do this one. What's this blue thing around me? Oh, that's the total range of it? And then these three dots are the ones you're actually gonna do. I see. He's chilled. That's good. But he's still moving. So chill just slows him down and probably negatively affects him. Enemies, allies are all in effect. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Shock him. Electrified blood, baby. Electrical jolt to target characters. Okay. Ah, oh, shocked myself because I was wet in the blood and the fire and all that stuff. Keep shocking him though, this is good. I wonder if we can finish him off now. Yes, he's only got five health left. You're gonna die. Oh my god, that was tough. Fuse rain and then chill, you can freeze. I'm fading. Oh, we're all fading. It's terrible. <laughs> what? No! so close I could have rolled out my bedroll. Oh man. 
tough battle. So what we learn from that, don't take any battle lightly. I, I sort of thought, oh, there's three of us, one of this guy, I'll kind of experiment and learn about the the different, like who gets affected by stuff, the range of things, the effects of things, the way to combine them. And I did, but I suffered because I wasn't taking it seriously enough. We need to maybe steal some things, get a bit more armor. I mean, if I just, that's the nice thing about the battles in this game is that um, a battle can seem almost impossible, but if you, um, but if you just plan, it'll be possible, which is fantastic because then it's all about the actual strategy and the skill of it. <laughs> I just died there. A guy came up to us one lunch and wanted to kill the Red Prince. Just one guy. He blinded us. He did, he, he was basically a really good demo of all the things you can do in this game he was blinding us he was setting us on fire he uh like really debilitated us and made it difficult chase him down he's running around attacks of opportunity that was a good that was a good battle 